those images, they just they come back every so often. They just haunt you all the time. And it's really hard. My daughter was struggling to breathe and I wasn't strong enough to say anything in that moment and I don't think I'll ever forgive myself for that. I finally gave in to an epidural after 19 hours saying I was not going to have one, there was absolutely no way. The epidural failed. My body just tightly shut down. It was three and a half litres of blood that I lost. I felt really disconnected from my baby in the beginning and really alienated. I felt that I couldn't talk about it when everybody was coming round to see my beautiful healthy baby. It just sort of muzzles along for a while because if you don't know what it is then it must just be motherhood. I sort of over six weeks my life just fell apart. I just was terrified. Still now, two years after, I still feel quite fragmented about it. It was like my brain was coming up with the worst possible thing, the most frightening thing, the most distressing thing for me and just torturing me with it. I know myself, I know what my feelings are and I just knew it was something more than you know, normal hormonal baby blues. People had spoken to me about postnatal depression and I knew that this wasn't depression. I just felt so unsafe. I would sit at the top of the stairs crying and my two-year-old son would come and sit next to me and put his little arm around me and tell me it's going to be okay mummy. That was the moment I was like no 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 we need to get on top of this we need to sort this out. I was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress and and then my world came crashing down because suddenly it all made sense. I didn't know what it was I didn't know you could get PTSD from childbirth. Post-traumatic stress can be experienced by one partner or both. Actually, the implications of it, it are far-reaching. I mean, certainly there is a cultural thing of a healthy baby is all that matters, and that's not true. You know, you matter, actually. I felt, was I over-dramatising it? Was it as significant as I thought it was? A lot of women can feel that they don't have a place to talk about their birth experience if, there's ba if their baby's healthy, because so many women don't have a healthy baby. And then just feeling so guilty that my brain was distracted thinking about all these thoughts when I had a beautiful little girl in my arms. The statistics show that actually it's a really small minority of people that do manage to give birth without any sort of assistance at all. I mean, I thought I was going to play Scrabble and listen to Franz Ferdinand take me out. <laughs> There is no right birth. There is no perfect journey. The experience of giving birth is life-changing. Even if we have a really easy birth, it's life-changing, and I think we need to talk about it more. Your feelings about your birth experience are valid. We're grown women. <laughs> you know, we, we often can accept and understand that there are lots of different scenarios. And I think a lot of the time in society, we're afraid of letting first-time mums know what they may experience. And so often women feel really in the dark, and then they can feel quite angry later if they don't have the birth that they wish to have. I just feel like people should just, there just be more honesty about the whole thing. And it shouldn't be this taboo subject. More dialogue around birth and more acceptance that any kind of birth that you have is an okay birth.